What's good, you guys? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, it's the coolest kid on the block, your girl Dasani, and thank you again for clicking on another one of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this wash and go, curly hair routine, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So make sure you subscribe down below, you like this video, and you comment. I am going to be showing you guys how I achieved this wash and go. First things first, I use all Meow Organics products. This is my first time trying Meow Organics. And yeah, so I'm going to be telling you guys what I thought about every single product, how it worked on my hair. Once again, I have 3C, 4A type hair. So yeah, that's see, that's what it is. And I also haven't done a wash and go on my hair in over a year. I swear up and down, left and right, that I am not a wash and go, wash and go kind of girl. I'm a blowout, braid out kind of girl. I don't do the wash and goes. Well, I didn't do the wash and goes because do you see this? Do you see these results? They're nothing to play with. Like, whoa, when I tell you I was shook. I was shook like mm, whoa but yeah I didn't do wash and goes because I just didn't like the way that they looked I just felt like they I don't like shrinkage like the length to still be there and I like the volume so when I was doing wash and goes in the past I wasn't getting the length and I wasn't getting the volume like at least if I if my hair is shrinking at least let me get some volume to it, it was flat it was just like it looks so bad so I didn't like it for that reason. Also my hair, it never lasts. It never lasted for me. Like it was a one day kind of thing. Nobody wants to keep doing your hair every single night. Like, no, I need something with longevity. I need something that's gonna last me. Like, okay, boom, like I, I do it once, I wrap it up at night and the next day it looks even better. Like, that's what I need. Like, it's just not giving like what it looks on YouTube. Like the way it looks on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, it just wasn't giving that for me. Like just just wasn't looking good like I'm just like dang but after a year and a half damn near a year and a half almost two years of no wash and go we've come back with a nice looking wash and go like this mm, she's giving no she's giving okay so like I said I use every single meal product that is a part of the pomegranate and honey line. So the first product obviously that I use is the Meow Organics shampoo. And if you watched my last year video, I did talk about the shampoo. If you did not go watch that because it's basically like the first part of this video, honestly, it is my wash day routine. Um, I really enjoyed the shampoo. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, it has really good slip and it's really soft on your hair. Like, it just feels really good when you're washing your hair. But it's really soft and silky. Like, that's what it feels like. It feels like silk. Like, I really enjoyed that. One thing that I liked about the line is that everything moisturizes your hair. So now we're going to move into the conditioner, which I did not use last week when I washed my hair. But I did use it this time. So... This is it. It's a moisturizing and detangling conditioner. It says deeply hydrates, conditions, and silk in. See, there's that word, silk. Cause that's what it feels like. It feels like silk. Silk in, thick, curly type for hair. And I think that this line is really good for tighter curls. So 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C. Um, now, obviously, I don't have 4B, 4C, so I can't just be like, oh, yeah, if you have 4C, get this, like, ah, 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 like, you're gonna love it, like, I'm not gonna sit here and say all that, because I don't have 4C here, so I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying, but it might just work for you, I would definitely try it. If you're a type 4 girly, I think it really might do something for you, like, I would really give it a try. And it's, like, just slid through my hair, and it was easy to detangle. And the wash process was really, really nice. The conditioner, if it feels nice in my hair, if it detangles, and if it has good slip, then I'm then I like it. Like I feel like that part of a line, it you can't really mess it up. Like if you mess it up, then your line's trash automatically. Like it deserves to go in the garbage. It's garbage. Like it's literally a trash can. So, you know, the shampoo and the conditioner are top tier already. So right now, they're 10 for 10. They're 10 for 10. So, next product, obviously, that I use, and this is not a part of the pomegranate and honey line. 
just want to say that this is not a part of the pomegranate and honey line but i needed a deep conditioner and i don't think that they have a deep conditioner a part of this line now i could be wrong i got the meow babasu and me Ooh, babasu and mint deep conditioner and it says protein slash moisture replenisher for dry and damaged hair to restore protein and balance for all hair types so this is it um and so i'm gonna start off with the cons of the product this stuff has nothing to do with how it works on my hair by the way is this bob this this container for all this hair if this is gonna be gone to, um, by my third use i'm gonna be scraping the bottom like i use so much um i used a lot when i wash my hair like and also because it's like thin i kind of show you guys the consistency it's not like extremely thin but it's not really really thick so if you have thinner hair or if your hair isn't as dense and thick then like the this is this will last you a long time but if you have a lot of hair like you're gonna be really scooping it out to get all of your sections i just wish the bottle was bigger i don't know but you know sometimes when they put when Brands put stuff in this little itty bitty bottle, it pulls you like you think like another bottle that's like kind of circular, like this has more, but in reality they really have the same amount. So no, see this is eight ounces and this is twelve. So like I need something this big, Mia. And also like I was saying, like it's like kind of thin. And like I said in my last video, I like thicker products because my hair it drinks this. So those are my cons with the product. I didn't like that. And then another thing, this could be a con for some people. I don't, I can't tell if it's a con for me. Like it's kind of like a middle ground. Is the smell? <laughs> it smells like green tea. It smells like herbs. Like it smells like grass. Like I don't know. It don't stink though. It could be the mint. Like it don't stink, but it don't smell good. Like it don't smell like the pomegranate and honey line. Definitely, it's a whole different smell. But it's strong. It's so strong. Like, even after I put in the leave-in, the curl smoothie, and the mousse on my hair, like, I could still smell this. Like, my hair smells like this. So, it's a strong smell. And if you don't like it, this was, that, the smell will turn you off completely. Now, let's get into how it felt on my hair. I don't think... I mean, it did what it needed to do. And I can't find the hooded dryer cap to sit underneath the dryer i don't know where that is so i wasn't able to sit underneath the dryer to really give it its full effects oh, i think it worked good though like my hair felt nice after it felt soft um yeah it was it was cool it was a deep conditioner like i think out of 10 though i give this like a seven now my rating could go up if when i find my my hoodie dryer cap but mm, seven six point five so now let's get into the actual wash routine. So first thing that I use in my hair is a leave-in conditioner and I actually put this on in the shower and I did not show that part because child recording in the shower, that is a task and an assignment in and of itself and I definitely failed. My camera almost fell three times and one time it almost fell in the water. So mm -mm, no, <laughs> you just gotta take my word. Cause no. So this is it. And I think that the leave-in conditioner worked fine. Yeah, it just it says it moisturized, it's a moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick curly type four hair. And I think it did that. It moisturized my hair. It made it has to slip to it. Let's get into this curl smoothie. This product. First of all, it took me a couple pumps. I'm like, dang, it's do we have the little the little paper protector on it like is that why it's not coming out this product is so thick like and i've been saying this every video like i need me something thick and this is giving bbl like it's giving she just got her body done like this product is thick and i love it only thing is is i wish it came i wish it came in a container like this because it is so thick like you know, trying to pump it out, it's just so hard. Like, I just wish I could scoop it. But sometimes I don't like scooping because it gets in my nails, like. So I'm just being picky. When I put it on my hair, I just knew. It was like moisturizing in my curls. It was like, like it was like, okay, you getting a little definition to you. 
but can I just wear that without like a gel or a mousse or something? No. No. Mm -mm. It gives the curls moisture and a little bit of definition. But I loved it. Like she did she did so nice so let me tell you about the technique that i use in my hair i don't really do nothing crazy you know what i'm saying so i work in fours well technically okay i do four big sections when i'm doing the wash and go and then i split the sections into two mini sections basically to make sure my hair is getting the most the most you know what i'm saying so that's what i did and i don't i don't finger curl my hair no, that's just going, especially the back. If I try to finger curl it, maybe it's going to be a frizz ball and a mess. What I do is I just rake the product through and then I smooth it with the praying hands method. So it's just rake, 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 rake. Make sure I'm getting it on every strand smooth. Smooth to get the definition that I want. Rake, 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 smooth. Rake, rake, smooth. So that's the technique that I'm using when I'm putting my product now like period so it's nothing to it like great 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 smooth smooth like that's it that's it but yeah i love the curling smooth next product and last product that i use in my hair i wanted to use all meow and the this line they have a souffle and a souffle for those who don't know is basically a gel but it's a softer gel like think of like think of consistency of a flaxseed gel or like an aloe vera gel or something. I'm not a huge fan of a souffle though. That's why I didn't get it. I don't hate souffles. Like I can use it. But I'm more of a mousse girl. So I got the mousse. If I had a favorite product, it's that. That mousse? Like I put it on and I don't know. It didn't feel like any other mousse that I've ever used. It felt healthy. It felt like I was putting the best mousse on my hair ever like it felt like you're not gonna do me wrong it felt like silk i loved it i put it on and i knew part two but i knew 100 percent though because with the curling smoothie i knew you could give me something like you could give me a cute bun when i put that mousse on i knew i was gonna go wash and go that mousse top tier Top tier. Top tier. That mousse is great. That mousse gave me everything. Like this would not look like this without that mousse. Okay. I loved it. After I put all the products on my hair, I was like, I need to body this. Watch and go. The fact of the matter is, I have to body this. How? So, <laughs> that's when I was like, okay. What do I look for when I'm doing a wash and go? I look for volume and I look for length. My hair was in the four twists. I blow dried the roots to give it the stretch look, which gives it length. And and I also blow dried the twist too to make sure that it's fully dry. Because say if I was going somewhere the day after I was doing my hair, I wasn't. But if I was, you know, you take your curl, you take it out. When you sleep in a bonnet and your hair is still wet, wet, it's not going to dry. It's not going to, especially if it's in twists. Like, it's not drying. So you have to do something to make it dry. If you have a diffuser, use a diffuser. If you have, you know, hood dry, use that. Or air dry. But that's if you're doing your hair during the day. But I feel like when you just let your hair air dry, that's when it shrinks the most. Because it's your hair, naturally, we have curly hair, it's going to dry upwards because it's going to shrink and dry. It's not just going to dry. Like, when you have, like, looser curl textures, or straight hair, like your hair is just gonna dry. Like it's just gonna, it's just gonna dry. Like it's not gonna do anything else. But when you have curly hair, especially if you have tighter curls, it's gonna and dry. Like it's just gonna and be dried. So you gotta have to manipulate it a little bit if you want the length, because you can get the volume. You pick out your hair, like you you let it air dry, you pick it out, you're gonna get the volume. You know what I'm saying? But if you want it to still be voluminous and still have some length to it, like still, then I would manipulate it a little bit. So I don't have a diffuser and I don't really feel the need to buy a diffuser. So I'm not going to, because I also feel like when you're like, cause like when you're using a diffuser, it's like, like I feel like it's 
taking away from the length. Like I feel like that's for a looser girl. Like if you have looser curl texture, if your hair is thinner, use that diffuser. I feel like for us end of the spectrum girls, I don't know. I just I just don't think it gives for us. Like I don't think it's what we need. So I don't even want to do it. Using the blow dry handheld to stretch the roots. When your roots are dry, I would recommend to maybe clip your twist down with like a alligator clip or something. You know, clip it down and sit underneath the dryer. So that way your twists are dry. So when you wake up and you take it out the next day, one, your hair is dry, so you don't even have to worry about for it. You get the volume and you get the length. Yeah, I enjoyed this wash and go. I'm not even gonna sit here and cut. Overall though, Mio, I like you. I do. Sponsor me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe down below if you wanna see more hair videos from me. If you wanna see vlogs, fashion, hauls, anything like that, again, subscribe down below. Like this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. And it's the coolest kid on the block. Signing out. Period. Bye.